Hi, this is Tom with the community team and in this video tutorial we're going to take a look at configurable deny action. The configurable deny allows an administrator to choose which action is taken when a connection is being blocked. If you take a look at your security policy, you'll see for example my uh, block apps rule is set to action drop, which is traditionally a silent drop. It means that uh, if a session is identified as something that you need to block, all packets, both from server and client, are going to be silently dropped. So there are no error messages, no reset packets, uh, no ICMP messages sent to either side. They will simply idle out after uh, X amount of retries. If you now open up the security policy and go to your actions, you'll see that in the action dropdown you have multiple options. Let's stick to drop for now. Since PanOS 7.0, you can enable send ICMP unreachable. This means that if you want to, you can send out an ICMP uh, type 3 code 13 message, which will notify the client that a specific session is not allowed and that it should stop trying. Now compare this to some of the other options. Reset client, reset server, reset both is an active uh, reset packet. Uh, if you're using TCP or an ICMP message, if you're using UDP or ICMP, but you can choose which direction the uh, reset goes to. So in case of reset client, uh, you will only notify the client that the connection is being denied. In case of reset server, you only send the reset packet to the server, reset both, uh, sends a packet to both sides. Now what's the difference and what's the use case? Uh, if for example you are protecting your clients on the inside going out to the internet, it might be useful to notify your clients that a connection is being denied if, for example, they're using an application that is very chatty. Maybe uh, it's written that way that your TCP needs to resend X amount of resends before giving up and it might be better to notify your clients that the connection is being denied immediately so you don't need to handle all those resends. Uh, a reset server might be useful if you're protecting a server in your DMZ from connections from the internet. If, for example, you're blocking on an application in which case a TCP handshake will already have been established. Your server has a socket open for a specific session and then all of a sudden uh, the session morphs into a new application that you are actively blocking. Maybe web browsing is allowed but something else is not. Then you can send a reset packet to your server notifying it that your connection is going to be terminated and that it can close the socket without letting the, the client know. This might be useful to deter port scans. Finally, there's the deny action, which is going to use the application deny action. Now, what does that mean exactly? If we go to our objects, to the applications, and if we take a look inside applications, some will have a deny action, which dictates what action to take if this uh, application is being blocked. Others will not. which means that the connection is going to be silently dropped instead. Lastly, if you want to be able to control how many ICMP packets are going to be sent out when a session is denied, you can go to the device tab setup into sessions and here you'll see ICMP unreachable packets per second. So if you need to decrease or increase this amount, you can do it from here. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click the like button. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.